Good morning, Quadcopter101 here. Um, I have a, been getting a lot of requests from my viewers for uh, teaching on how to do acrobatics. I have other tutorials on my channel that show how the basics of flight, but what about more advanced things like acrobatics? And that's the purpose of today's flight. I'm going to use my little toy HTF801 quadcopter here to demonstrate some acrobatics and maybe uh, teach you teach you all a few things. Maybe you learned something here today. So I hope, hope you enjoy this flight Quadcopter 101. Let's go into a flight of the HTF801 Acrobatics. Okay, the quadcopter's been bound. Let's go for a flight. And I want to go to high rate for this flying. Now many of you know how to do flips. You just press the darn button, right? But how do you do loops? Let's say such as this. It's not really that hard at all. What you need to do is get some momentum, then let go of the pitch roll stick. You get momentum by pushing forward on the pitch roll stick and adjusting uh, throttle as necessary to maintain height. Then you let go of the pitch roll stick, watch. And you press the flip button. Let's go back again, I'm sorry. Going back to high rate. Anyways, you get momentum going by pushing forward on the pitch roll stick. Then let go of the pitch roll stick, hit the flip button, then pull back. And then push forward again to continue flying. Let's do that again, coming this way now. Getting momentum, letting go of the stick, pulling back, and then pushing forward to keep it going. Getting momentum, letting go of the stick, pulling back and pushing forward. Let's see if I can keep my hands in view so you can see this. Pushing forward, letting go, pulling back. Letting go, pulling the button, pushing forward to keep the momentum going. You want to keep the quadcopter moving even after the uh, trick is done. Push forward, keep it moving. Now we can do barrel rolls by pushing left instead of uh, forward. And pushing forward again to keep the momentum going. Here we come again. Letting go of the stick, pu pushing left and forward. You gotta press that button as soon as you let go of the stick. You gotta press the flip button. As soon watch again. And pushing forward on the stick. So it's not really hard to do, you just gotta get the rhythm. Let go of the stick, push the button, and then push the stick in the direction of uh, desired turn, and then push forward again to keep the momentum going. Okay, that's how you do uh, loops and rolls. Let's talk about other thing, uh, sliding turns. You gotta bring it in, then we're gonna give it full yaw and full roll. And then once it goes back on its original heading, we push forward again. Okay, let's watch that again. We're going to come in, get some momentum going, then full roll and full uh, yaw. And then pitch forward to get it moving again. Let's do that again. Full roll, full yaw, and then push forward to get it going again. These are uh, sliding turns, I call them. They look pretty cool, actually, when you do them right. <laughs> Okay, how about sliding yaw? Get some momentum going and then full, full uh, roll. You gotta need to get some momentum going by pushing forward on the stick and then letting go of the stick and applying full yaw. Let's bring that in close so you can see that. Let's get some momentum going, let go of the pitch stick and then full yaw. And pitch stick again to get it moving again. How about a climbing yaw turn? Let's try to, we're going to let go of the stick and then we're going to apply full yaw and then give it some throttle too at the same time. Letting go of the stick. Wait, that looks cool, don't it? <laughs> Let's bring it in close so you can see that. Letting go of the stick and you full yaw and climb into the sky. So these are sliding yaw turns. And finally, let's end with funnels. Funnels are very simple to do. It's just a uh, uh, full forward pit or yeah, full forward pitch. Apply some throttle, keep it in the sky, and full yaw. And then you can adjust the throttle as needed to maintain altitude. Let's bring this in closer so you can see that. See, full yaw, and then you, I'm slightly adjusting the throttle to, to uh, maintain altitude. Now, keep in mind that a quadcopter can do this in any direction. Here's full back. Where this is a backward funnel. See, I'm full back and then full yaw and adjusting throttle as needed. 
Let's try that again. Let's bring it in closer. I'm going to send it upwind a bit. I got a wind over here. Full back. Now full forward. You can switch back and forth easily. So this is the intro to acrobatics. Hope you can remember this. I'm probably going to do an article in my blog about it. Talking about how to do this. But it's very simple to do. And this HTF-801, as you can see, is one of my preferred for doing these because it can keep the momentum going better than most of the other quadcopters I got in the toy grade. Whoa, that was a little too much for it. That's a touch and go. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoy flying this HTF-801. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out. <laughs>